in uh, meet with the commissioner, Dawar, I will call him, somebody. And I will uh, explain to him about the problems the apartments are facing. And he has to conduct the meetings periodically, somewhere in the center of the Madhya specific point. So he has to promise that those days are gone. I will now pressurize him and follow up. I will follow it, follow it up continuously, constantly. See that all your points right, you know, will be resolved. As far as the best time is concerned, you know, everyone has up best time for so many years. Those who are working here in Descom, all are my subordinates. I can call anybody, anytime, anywhere to address, address your problems. <laughs> in fingertips, I can get it done to Descom. And any uh, apartment uh, open area, you raise the question, open area for utilization. That is to be dealt with the uh, developer. And, uh, I think there is a provision of Every layout has to have some 10% of the space which is common and available to BBMP to build some yes. common facility. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, th That's you know, issues like this becomes constant threat. Whenever we raise the issue, we are slapped with some problem like this and we are on the back foot. So, those structural changes has to be done. And I think there has to be some regularization of all the apartments because everybody has violated something or other. And we are always, you know, on the back foot again on that. And the builder goes caught free, BBMP goes caught free. BDA goes for free, we are at the receiving end. Because of uh, violation of rules, so up to 10% violation is uh, allowed. People have gone beyond 50%. Open. Permission is obtained for construction of 1000 flats, they will construct 1500 flats. The carpet area increases, built up area increases, there they deny to give the occupancy certificate. Now, one time settlement, they agreed to give a OC, not after the all pending issue. It was pending for so many years. I have intervened, I told CM, all that. Then this result now, occupancy certificate is being issued. Future, you don't know. As for the civic community sites is concerned, there, there is a mandatory for civic community amenity site to, they have to provide. And you can construct for your utility, for uh, playing games or uh, clubhouse, something like that. That is a compulsory, you know. Some you people are having clubhouse inside the uh, flat system, inside the towers. I see. You can have a separate uh, clubhouse outside. You can establish that in the civic community site. Okay, that will be done now. I take up the issues personally and see that it is resolved. Hello, sir. I am Professor Lakshman. I've been taking glasses for which we for quite some time. And uh, let to become member here, I call you that way. <laughs> and uh, today happens to be yesterday, April 22nd, is followed all over the world as well as in India. As yesterday it's a modern environment day. I did not stretch much point what is happening around Mahadevapura, especially on the environment day. Every open space has become a garbage area. And uh, that part I hope you take care of. You have touched many aspects, including health and all that. We wish you would consider. More than anything else, I would like to speak on behalf of Bangalore Apartment Federation, that I happen to be the victory one and two cluster president. We are no longer white collar people. We are now blue collar people. All of us will make sure that we go and vote on the good thing. <laughs> who, they, who they vote, it is their prerogative, but it is up to you to solicit votes. On behalf of Bangalore Apartment Foundation, you are welcome to address all the apartments if you find that. So my only request is, in addition to what you are addressed here, please come around to the apartments. There are many apartments which have got more than 3,150 flats. That means city by itself, like Trishti Shanti Nigeta in Mahadevapura. So Mahadevapura, every device is also more than 40%. And uh, our friend Professor Raji was talking about 2008 and all that uh, earlier. I have worked in Karnataka as a tuition manager, a regional manager of Boots Pharmaceuticals right from 1969 to 76. I know there was no flyover that time. Now you see only flyover. 
and there, there is a need, the new need also play over is coming. You know there is, I did not explain on that. My only request sir, whatever you have said, I hope you stand for it. You will ensure there will be enough office centrally located so that we will be able to meet you. Most important thing is, I don't want to touch past and the present and the future. And Professor was touching about mission. I am only touching about mission. Let us try to do the best in the coming five years. And that is the way success will come. You said your enemy is your success. I am not your enemy. Neither your friend nor your enemy. All depends upon how you will act, sir. I wish you all the best. Thank you. First question is uh, open area, garbage is being dumped there. So I, I have a plan, it's covered in my manifesto. I have a plan to one for the planting the sun, it's 25 lakhs subjects. 25 lakhs. And then as for the Shandikin apartment where 3,500 more than plus, during 2008, where was a direct technique of discount. Possibly is arranged by me only. I went personally there. I built the connection in a single day for 3,500 apartments. <laughs> but it's long gap. I have to go there and uh, talk to them uh, for casting their votes. I sincerely request them to solicit your valuable votes on my behalf. And I've been to Shova and other apartments, uh, fish and all. You know, I, I cannot uh, meet each and every apartment association. I will recruit my people on my behalf. Maybe my team, my sons, uh, my neighbors, anybody. Please enter in them, allow them. There is no time. And you have to open permission to enter inside, you know. Particular timings only, they are very punctual. If a six, on dot six, you should be there, that way. So if you give us the time in advance, I'll come here as possible to your apartments. For medium range, lower range, small apartments, my people will come. That will work, you know. I think you will cooperate. Sure. And one thing, yes, I, I told you in my speech. I will now give a citizen forum office, centrally located somewhere, wherever you choose. Okay? We will have one meeting, a uh, preparation meeting. You select and tell me the location so that our people can reach within 20 minutes, 15 minutes, then be like that. It will be easier. Time will be same. We can have a meeting half an hour, one hour, and I can take up the issue with the concern departments and have an idea for synergy of uh, bringing three departments under one umbrella. Let's come to be and be in. That we are right now. All people should be there during that time for discussion. Yes, sir. If you raise any question for them, then I will follow it up. That's my duty. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Mughi, I represent Whitefield uh, uh, Rising. Uh, Mr. Rajiv Gaurav, you are asking for uh, uh, some goals from us, and we certainly have that in the document. I hope you are able to have a good glance at it. We have a finely curated, just a small list of four points, right, based on our experience over the past 10 years. Uh, I'll try to be very, very brief about it. Uh, the first point is, uh, you know, sometime in 2008, uh, Mahadevpura was amalgamated into uh, the Brihat administration called BBMP. And I think 15 years is enough time to uh, conclude that it hasn't worked well in the favor of Mahadevpura. So we want you to revert that back and we want Mahadevpura to have its own civic administration with its uh, headquarters here. You know, there's a famous saying, uh, Chinese saying, the heavens are high and the emperor is too far away, right? And I think it's very true in our case. You also spoke about uh, Mahadevpura having two of the largest Bengaluru lakes, but we don't have a dedicated lakes engineer in our uh, zone, right? We still share a lakes engineer with uh, all the other zones. So that is our first ask. The second ask is small and manageable wards. Again, in line with what you were mentioning, right? Uh, uh, that uh, you, you are talking about the influx of people into Bengaluru for employment, right? Mahadevpur obviously is the uh, largest direct and indirect tax generator, and all of us know that there's more than thousand people entering Mahadevpur on a daily basis, right? So we certainly uh, today we are operating based on 2011 census. But we want more scientifically based uh, small and manageable water. So that's the second thing. The third thing is proper functioning water committees. Uh, I know Mr. Nagesh uh, spoke about some day-to-day -day administrative activities, right? For example, he, he was talking about Kata Adalats. We certainly want uh, the lawmakers to be involved in slightly broader aspects rather than day-to-day -day aspects. That will only happen 
if proper functioning ward committees are enabled, right, uh, uh, the true decentralization has to happen, uh, the uh, KMC uh, decentralization has to happen, that's the fourth one. And that's the third one. And the fourth one is zero tolerance for corruption. I think it's more an open secret now that several of the uh, uh, postings uh, within Mahadevpura, you know, is, it comes at a price. Uh, there have been a lot of media articles around that. Uh, and they in turn are the ones who are demanding bribes for various uh, facilities like Kata. Why do we need to have a Kata Adalat in the first place, right? Because there is some difficulty for the residents in getting those Katas from uh, the designated officials. And why is that happening? Because there is some element of corruption here, right? So we want uh, zero tolerance for uh, corruption. These are the four aspects, uh, tiny aspects. And and you may uh, ask why Mahadevpura needs a separate municipality. Maybe the other 28 assembly constituencies also will ask for it, right? What is so special? Uh, I think some of uh, as some of the aspects for that were already communicated by you. Uh, Prime Minister at a national level has set ourselves a goal of $5 trillion economy. And then uh, a lot of the states are in the race for reaching the $1 trillion economy at the earliest, right? And in the, at the current pace, Karnataka is poised to reach that uh, uh, goal only by 2032, right? How can we expedite that? We can expedite that by 